He definitely wants to turn the tables, having been the Zedded victor. He will now be the Zed to his enemies, Victor. And Victor has to take the exhaust. Eve is nowhere near. Kube already has his ult, though. He's going to walk into it. Evil Plate goes down. Kube going to bounce two set off with that arcade smash, but he's going to die in the end. Popped for a first blood from Apple. Thung of the laning phase will go. No turrets down just yet. Fury headbutt Polf. Again, there's the Valk over the top, but there's not really much follow up. Fury has to flash. Flash from Tucson. Nice delay. And there's the Dragon's Rage into the kill. Roar will snag it at the end. They're happy to walk away. It's in my even Fury on different ways. You're going to see the engage. The insect kick comes through on the crown. He's dead. And that's a TP for Apple as well. Samsung may be looking to re engage. Kube's here. Everyone under the turret. Big Hemo Plague onto several members of Samsung, but Fury still has that Trinity Force. He's still just firing those rockets, but it's just not enough damage. They get frozen, but lose even the process. And they're going in again. Tucson a little bit too deep. Roar with the finish out. Uh, however, more rockets. Apple trying to trade with his sustain, and they're going to get the turret, and not much more. Roar out of mana. Still a three for Luna to safety. He was not. Interrupted right there. Kube wants to go into Apple. Apple very, very vulnerable. And he's going to go down after using that Hemo Plague. Maybe eventually. Zonia's Hourglass for now. Tucson's going to get into the back lines. Chaos Storm on top of everyone. But Crown may be on cleanup duty. He's got the death mark. Samsung, Samsung can and should have pursued that. It's actually IM vision. He has no defensive vision. It's so much harder for him to overextend. In this case, OK, he sees Five members, but that's because he's going to be giving up a dragon for this outer turret. And Tucson goes in right there. He overextends and it just explodes. The burst damage so high from Corky in Italy that that is bad idea. Damage amp in the Hemo Plague, and then so much from Victor. Their itemization is also coming along. Corky actually flash pulse comes through from Ignar. Corky's very low, dies instantly. This looks like a good fight for Aya. Yeah, there's the colleague as well, Luna. Not going to catch the tail end of it. There's a death mark on a roar. Roar will die in the end, but will crowd pay for it as well? Exhaust already onto him. He's on a bit of a run right now. Can he go over the wall? Yes, he can. Ignite ticks down, and that was a bit of a waste of a heap there, though. Well, Roar's not there either. Neither is Ignar. So they've got some time. The Apple taking a lot of poke damage right now. So is Eve taking damage from the Baron. Luna on the outside. Fury's going to get found by Roar, but they've got Vision in the brush. Apple knocked around by the Arcade Smash. Luna in the back line. Crowd coming through. Crowd with a kill onto Roar. And this is going to be Samsung to clean up. They got the skirmish they wanted, and they got the poke double kill for Crown. Their front line is so strong, Monty. Cuve on this Maokai was doing so much work tanking in the front line, even though Eve had to disengage over the back of the Baron wall. The tank stood in the front. Fury was free DPSing, and they pick up the Baron. He's so, uh, as you mentioned, oh, we see. Oh, they're Righteous going glory. in. TP activated. Apple's going to get there. They're going to try and collapse onto a flank. Culling really not going to do a whole lot. They are so scared of the Zed in their back line as well. They should be great positioning from Samsung so far. And there is Kube just locking up a choke point with that Arcane Smash. And now the poke continues to rain in. IM has to walk around, but Kube's there. Fury going to flash forward. Tucson is just CC'd in the back line, and the Ludens Brocks continue to come in onto IM. Frozen finds himself just CC'd as Crown looks to clean up. He will have to back off crit onto him from Roar. Oh, they're going to come back in on him. Where is, what is Roar doing? I don't know. That is really dangerous to try and push up the wave. He's going to go onto Luna. Oh, actually takes the kill right there as Kuve's going to come in with the TP. Crown, maybe not wanting to fight this, but Eve has enough damage alongside Kuve that that's going to be the ace. Roar, I think. Until they want to fight. Well, Samsung just wants to poke, I think. Yep, that is a lot of damage for a jungler. And there we go. Apple is the first target. Has to pool to start off the fight. Luna going to get low, but he's not going to die to the Chaos Storm. But Kube finds himself hunted into the back line. Kube still gets the kill on to Victor. And Apple starting to turn this one around, but everyone's so low. The poke oh. just destroys Roar. And as well as Apple's doing in the sustain, the poke is too much. Double for Fury. This is great. 
he sees Eve with that ward, so there's no way he's going to get hit. But he's quite happy to just delay Lee Sin from getting back with the long death <laughs> time. He's canceled with the pounce. <laughs> and Samsung Galaxy Monte Cristo defying all, I believe, analyst expectations with a comfortable 2-0. All two analysts on this cast did not think this was going to happen tonight, but Samsung delivers. They bounce back with their poke, and that's going to be GG. Clean, clean 2-0 for Samsung, especially that first game was really well played by them. I was impressed by Eve on Nidalee. Two games, two big wins. This game in particular, Team Fight Nidalee is such a difficult, difficult <laughs> skill to pull off. Chaser did wonderful things in the series earlier this week, and now Eve smartly darting in our team fights basically one-shotting frozen who had to zonyas then just had a hundred health after it very smart play from samsung okay in the early game they suffered tucson looked really great but then the lee syndrome i've, I've learned it now i've consulted my dsm for this game lee syndrome holding him down and comfortable win for samsung yeah well it looked rough there for a while for samsung it looked like they they may not have been able